Hey there, everybody. This is Ableton Certified Trainer Thavius Beck. And in this course, I'd like to show you the basics of using Ableton Live to create your own unique compositions. But before we go down that road, let's first talk about what Ableton Live is and how it compares to other similar computer software. Ableton Live is one of many different computer programs that's referred to as a DAW. And DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Now, what exactly does that mean? A digital audio workstation allows you to use a computer program much like a traditional studio. So this means that you can record audio, you can play virtual instruments, you can apply effects, you can mix all these different sounds together by adjusting the volume level, uh, equalizing the sounds, panning them to the left and right. And then you can arrange all these different elements into a song structure, which you can then later export so you can share with the world. Now, again, there's many computer programs that function as a DAW and all of them have unique characteristics, but in general, they all follow a very similar format. So let's look at that format in Ableton Live. Ableton Live has two distinct different views, and we're gonna dive into more detail about those views a little bit later. But for now, just know that when you start up Ableton Live, you see a screen that looks like the screen we're looking at here. And this is known as the session view. Now this screen is extremely unique to Ableton Live, and if you're coming from another DAW, this might look very foreign to you. So we're gonna check out the other view, which is known as the arrangement view. We can access the arrangement view either by pressing tab on our computer keyboard, or if we mosey over here to the right hand side of the screen, there's two circular buttons here. One has vertical lines and one has horizontal lines. If we press the button with the horizontal lines, that takes us to the arrangement view. Now again, we're gonna discuss the two different views in more detail later, but just so you know, these horizontal lines for the arrangement view represent the way the tracks are laid out. In the arrangement view, the tracks are laid out in a horizontal fashion. We can see the name of the track over here, and this is the arrangement view. So all the contents of the tracks will be shown here. If we look at the top of the arrangement view up here, we can see some numbers, and these numbers represent what bar that we're at in the arrangement. So essentially we're seeing a timeline, and the time always flows from left to right. As its name implies, in the arrangement view, this is where the songs get arranged. Now, most other programs only have a view that looks like this. They may not be called the arrangement view, but essentially, that's the way most DAWs function. You record audio uh, in a certain order. It's placed at a specific point in the timeline, and that's how you start to structure your song. So again, if you're coming from another computer program, another DAW, this view will probably be the most familiar to you. But this view doesn't really reveal everything that's so unique about Ableton Live. Most of that is gonna be shown to us in the session view, which again, we can get back to by pressing tab or using these buttons over here. So now that we know what a traditional DAW is, how it functions, let's find out what makes Ableton Live so unique. 